Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today's video I have sort of like a get it all done with me slash day in the life type thing. I need to go to the grocery store so I figured I would bring you guys along with me for that. I'll also show you a complete um, grocery haul. I'll probably get some things for the house as well so all of that's going to be in there. But before I go to the grocery store I want to kind of clean out this little pantry and anything out of my refrigerator. Not like a full-blown refrigerator clean but just you know kind of get things out that don't need to be in there anymore that way I can also kind of look and see what I need I'm always making lists but then when I go to the store I never take it or look at it I'm just really bad about that but it's been such a relaxing weekend the weather is perfect it's like 65 degrees outside we've had our windows open uh, the TV has been playing nothing but all of the good old Halloween movies so we've been watching all of those and it's just been really relaxing and really nice but if I don't get to the store today God knows when I'll be able to get there so I wanted to go ahead get that taken care of take you guys along with me I hope you're here for it I hope you enjoy these videos if you do make sure to give this one a thumbs up that way I know I can just you know kind of integrate these into my regular cleaning videos but without further ado we're just going to go ahead and get into cleaning that like I said it's not going to be like a full-blown deep clean just kind of get everything out and make room that way when I get all the groceries in they can go in and be all nicely put away and I don't have to worry about it I'll probably do a a dinner for tonight too we'll see we'll see how I feel about that at the end of the video you'll have to stick around and see what I decide to do but Without further ado, like I said, let's just go ahead and get on into it. That way I can get back home and get back on the couch watching my Halloween videos. Walmart and I do this every time this is the worst time for me to come to the store it's the weekend it's nice outside so everybody's here I also was on the phone as I was leaving the house and I forgot my camera so I'll be filming this on my phone hopefully it's not horrible footage but um you know it's a thousand dollar iPhone it should 
it should have good quality footage, right? Okay, so it's hot in this car. I had to turn it off because the air was still loud. So I'm gonna hurry, get in there, and try to get as much stuff as possible before I get like too much social anxiety and have to leave. Hopefully I can talk in there too because I kind of wanted to do that. But depending on how loud it is and music and all that stuff, I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll try. So let's go ahead and get in there and get everything that we need. So I keep seeing these like every time I come to the store and I'm always wanting to try them, but I never get it. It looks like that one's been opened. I think I want to try this one. It's called Tough Cookie and it's just a lip balm, kind of like an, like an oil one. I think I want to try this color. So they've got Fosberry, Just Peachy, and then Mighty Mint, but I want to get this one. And of course I had to come and get some more melts. I just picked up this one. It is the Farm Apple and Pumpkin. Oh my gosh, it smells so amazing and also this is one of my favorites uh, the lemon balm and cedar smells amazing as well and I like the sea salt and sage and the rainy spring day I grabbed quite a few so I definitely needed to come and stock up because I was literally out of them okay so I have been to like four Walmarts trying to find these boots in my size and I finally found the brown ones in my size but I really wanted these like darker brownish gray of course they don't have my size in those but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab these they're only $13 I think I don't know how much are they nope they're 25 okay so I think I want to grab these because they're the only ones in my size but they're really cute yeah I think they're gonna come home with me I need more of these, but I also wanted to try this. Have you guys tried this? Let me know if you have. Um, we have a fairly new dishwasher, like we just got it last year, but I kind of want to try this for some reason. Let me know if you've tried it. Okay, so I just came over here to get my bottled water, and have you guys seen this? Clear American. These are pina coladas, and then they've also got orange mimosa. I'm very intrigued. Have you tried this? Let me know. I don't know. I kind of want to try this one, but then what if it's horrible? Eh, I think I'm just going to stick with what I know. Maybe next time I'll try this. Okay, so of course I don't have my coffee here today either. They're like out of everything, but this is the first time I've seen these. It's the McCafe Toffee Almond Classic French Roast, and they have a baked apple pie. I really want to try that, but I don't know if I love it. I don't know. We'll see. All right, you guys, I'm finally back. I actually did end up having to go to Kroger after Walmart because they just didn't have everything that I needed. Um, Ruben is actually really weird about Walmart meat. So, so I had to go get my hamburger at Kroger. Also my creamer, they don't carry at Walmart. So I had to go to Kroger and get that. I'm sorry. There's a plane going overhead. If you hear that and my windows are open, uh, but what's funny is at Walmart, I had gotten um, bagels, and I'll show you all of that here in just a second, but I wanted the whipped cream cheese, like the strawberry, nothing. And I was like, okay, well, I got to go to Kroger anyway. I'll just grab it while I'm there. They had nothing. Funny as well, Walmart had no Prego sauce, neither did Kroger. So I had to improvise, but I'm going to go ahead and turn you around and show you everything that I got from both stores. Okay, so I'm gonna just start back here. I did grab two of my coconut creamers. I had to get those from Kroger. At Walmart, I got the sweet cream. I always like to add this as well. I grabbed some Lay's cheddar and sour cream, also just regular baked Lay's. Ruben loves the Milo's zero calorie sweet tea. I grabbed him one of those. We picked up eggs. I got some little nabs. I also grabbed this toasted coconut coffee. And I've had it before and I really like it, but what I really wanted was a vanilla cinnamon and I got it there like last week and I'm already, I've already gone through it, but they didn't have any more of that either. So kind of upset about that. 
I grabbed some of these chimichangas. I like eating these <laughs> when I'm home by myself. Um, I also grabbed some bread. I grabbed some of this Italian bread as well. I think I'm going to do baked ziti either tonight or tomorrow. So I went ahead and grabbed those. I got two can of biscuits, one of the buttermilk, one honey butter. These are so stinking good. Also, two cans of this chicken noodle soup. Ruben and I like to have this with some grilled cheese one night. Now that the weather is getting a little bit cooler, this is like the best meal ever and really quick and easy. I also love this extra noodle. That's probably my favorite. And I did grab one of these kielbasas. Now, what I like to do with this is I'll cut it up and fry it. And then I'll make like one of those sides, um, pasta sides. I can't remember the name of it, but I have a ton of them in my cabinet. Just like the butter noodles or, you know, either that or the cheddar and broccoli, I think. And I'll just put it in the pasta and it's like a meal in itself. Really good, really quick, really easy and inexpensive. So I grabbed rotini for my baked ziti. And this is the sauce that I ended up getting. Not really excited about it, but it might be good. I don't know. We'll see. I grabbed two more bags of mozzarella for the baked ziti as well. I got two bags of goldfish for my snacks at work. I got a little bag of baby bells. I got potatoes. I grabbed Reuben these diced peaches. He loves these and he's always going through them. So I grabbed him another little package of those. And this is a new pizza. I've never seen this brand before. Don't ask me why I got bacon cheeseburger. I've never gotten a bacon cheeseburger pizza in my life. But it really looked good. So I'll let you know how I feel about that. And as far as the cream cheese, I just ended up getting the garlic and herb whipped one. Again, not what I wanted, but we have to improvise, do what we got to do. And for non-food, oh, well, wait. Okay, so I've got pork chops here and also um, a pound of hamburger, my bagels, and eggs. I'm not sure if I told you eggs or not, but I've got eggs. So I also grabbed two of the baking sodas. I got some more dish detergent tablets and I've never seen this one the woodland rain and it smells so good so I grabbed that we needed more of those I grabbed some more Tide you guys saw me grab this I'm super excited to try it and I got some more Noxzema that's my tried and true I also needed a new little um, charger for my phone mine has finally given up on me and I'm not paying that money for the Apple magnetic whatever those things are called not doing it um, also, uh, my boots. I'm really excited to try these on and see if I love them or not. And then this is the whole stack of the wax melts I got. So I got the soft cashmere and amber. I don't know why it's not. And I also got two of these feeling cozy. It smells so delicious. And I think I showed you guys the pumpkin and chai from Better Homes and Gardens. One of my faves and line dried linen sometimes i like to mix this because it's kind of really subtle with something if it's a little bit too strong this stormy autumn night oh my gosh you guys it smells absolutely amazing i actually already broke into it and put some into my um little warmers but it smells so good so fresh and clean and then the farm apple and pumpkin and so I had no room left on the table, but I grabbed two of these six packs of the Nestle Splash. This is the, I don't know how you say it, acai grape. We'll go with that. And then I got two of the wild berry. I'll be honest with you, I haven't had a soda in so long. These have been my go-to. I also get the lemon and the orange as well. And they're like $1.50 for a six pack. So good. Try them if you haven't. Okay, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and get all of this stuff put away and then probably start on dinner shortly. It is 3.30, so I don't want to start it too early, but I think I'm going to do the kielbasa sausage and pasta, so I'll show you how I do all of that. Okay, so ready to do dinner now, and I think I'm going to do the kielbasa, and I'm going to do that with this chicken and broccoli pasta. This is the pasta I was talking about. We absolutely love them. So I'm just going to dice this um, sausage up, go ahead and fry it, add some seasonings, things like that. And then I'll make my pasta and then we'll just mix it up together like a one pot kind of deal. I love it so much. If you um, enjoy these pasta sides, let me know what your favorite is. I love every single one of them. I think the Parmesan angel hair one 
absolute favorite, but we do the cheddar and broccoli one at least once a week. So those are our favorites, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this chopped up, like I said, and in the pan to start cooking. like Bodie really wants somebody can't have it it doesn't look the best but it's very flavorful very filling very quick and easy and then I just made some little biscuits to go with it too but that's pretty much it and that's pretty much it for this video I'm gonna go ahead and eat I'm gonna finish up some laundry for the week and just get ready for bed but I hope you enjoyed this video a little bit different if you did let me know by giving me a thumbs up also if you're not subscribed go ahead and click that button before you go but as always i love you and appreciate you and i'll see you next time bye the way you're touching me around my neck got chills down my back you do it right the way you're holding me no i don't want this moment to stop